You know, the number one thing about here about the uh, podcast is everybody said, man, I love the podcast. Love hearing the old stories. But where'd you find this uh, guy that you got on there with you? This Glenn Moore guy. <laughs> well, you know, there is a, we get a lot of questions for the show. And, you know, today's show is going to be about, you know, our Ask the King Anything. A lot of questions from, from fans you're, have followed you for years, King. But there are, there are some questions that I get in my email or on Twitter saying, how, Oh, boy, how, I bet you do. How do you get, how did you know, how did you meet the King? Why, why would the King do a podcast with you? So I'm the, I'm, I, you know, I have my own wrestling show. This is awesome wrestling show. I haven't done it in a while, but, um, you know, things that we can't talk about because, you know, your time is valuable. My time is semi valuable. Um, that we can't, you know, talk for more than, you know, an hour, hour, 15 minutes. But uh, I figured I would, you know, tell some stories. And one of the stories, I, you know, questions I get is, how did you get to meet the king? And um, I, I know King. You how probably, did we meet? Do you remember? I do. Well, I well, might as well just say it now. I'll, I'll do a condensed version. So, I, you know, I did. I did. Well, Jerry, you know, I'm in sports media uh, in Cleveland, and I was doing a TV segment for uh, Bruce Drennan. All bets are off. And uh, I was on. I was on from the ballpark before any. Now, for came. the people people around the country that may not know, Bruce Drennan is a uh, very well-known sports guy in, in Cleveland, Ohio, and he has a, a show that's on Fox Sports every single day in Cleveland, a TV show called, as you say, All Bets Are Off. And it's a funny – sometimes we'll get into the story about how that, that name came about. But uh, <laughs> Bruce <laughs> – Bruce has that TV show, and like you said, you used to do some work for him. You were in all sorts of Cleveland sports media, right? Yeah, so I was in sport, so I was doing on TV, and I was talking to Bruce, and it was just me, Bruce, and the producer of the show, and it was a live TV hit at the ballpark. And in the back of the room, the door opens, and in walks Jerry the King Lawler. Now, Jerry, you know I'm a you're one of my favorites, even before you know meeting you, but. uh uh, you know, I didn't know you were going to be there. And he didn't walk Jerry the King Lawler because I think you were going to be on after me uh, like a half an hour after uh, I was because when you come to Cleveland, you usually jump on All Bets Are Off if they broadcast from the ballpark. Um, so I got, you know, my segment was over. I go to you. I shake, you know, hey, I'm Glenn. You know, nice to meet you. And I think me being on, you know, on the show, you know, maybe made you realize that I'm not just the other Joe Schmo. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That gave you that gave you some credibility. Yeah, in my gave you some yeah. credibility. So you, you had some time before you had to be on, and you wanted to go down in the locker room to talk to some of the players. I know you're friends with a lot, of, you know, Travis Hafner, Chris Perez, a lot of guys that were on the team um, at the time, and you had no clue how to get down to the locker room, and and you were by yourself. So I escorted you, and I'm like, I'm walking with Jerry the King Lawler, taking him to the Indians locker room, and uh, you, you did your thing, and then we were on the field. And we were just, uh, you know, BSing for a little bit. And we shot a video, which is on YouTube, between you and Chris Perez. Because uh, Chris and I did a, um, you know, little video series um, on the field before, uh, you know, before almost every home game. And I right. uh, did a video with him. And you gave me your number because I wanted to do an interview for my, uh, my my sports podcast. I talked some Cleveland sports. And that turned in. We, did, we, we had like a 10-episode podcast back in 2011 called The King's Podcast. And it was just what like, we did. Yeah, there is. It's on YouTube, a few episodes, but we talked mainly Cleveland sports. It was all Browns and Indians, some wrestling, but it was more catered to sports. Yeah, we did it back in 2011. I and, do not even remember that, Glenn. I remember yeah. doing I, I know I remember coming to some place and we did a we did a sort of a sit down TV interview with a big picture of the, well, the Cleveland Browns, a huge picture in the back, like behind yeah. our. Where was that at? What was that for? That was with the uh, Cleveland.com, the plane dealer, when I was working for them, and that was in their yeah. studio. And you were in town and uh, had you come by the studio, do a video interview, um, and then you talked with some of the people that uh, worked there because they were big fans. Yeah, you were sitting. I think I have a photo. You were sitting in front of, I believe, either the three photos were Kyrie Irving, <laughs> Kyrie Irving, who is gone, uh, yeah. Justin Masterson, who uh, obviously is gone from the Indians, and I believe yeah. the other one was Jim Brown, um, for the uh, for the Browns player. So um, I, th I think it was Jim Brown. Yeah, because I thought because it had to be Jim Brown because we couldn't find another Browns player worthy enough to keep on the on the board because <laughs> <laughs> the roster turnover is unbelievable. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's the first time we met and became friends. And then we you know whenever you came to Cleveland. You know, we went out, I would, you know, meet up with you or, you know, if I had traveled on the road to go to pay-per-view, meeting, you know, linked up with you. So, I mean, 
that's how we uh and then and then the the podcast came about you contacted me and and you've you've remained friends as i have too but you probably a little more closer with chris perez who was yeah. the cleveland indians pitcher and then somehow uh you called me up one day and you said hey chris is starting a podcast company well me and chris and i oh i'm sorry you, chris and I. okay chris, yeah chris and i <laughs> I'm the you. You and Chris started a podcast company, and I think the idea was to because he had a lot of connections of different athletes and sports and stars and stuff like that. And you guys are going to get different sports celebrities to do the podcast. And I, I don't know. I, and I know that's how I agreed to do it. And I yeah. think uh, I don't. I know. Does Chris do a podcast himself? No, uh, no, he does. We Chris and I did it. We do a couple shows together, like talking sports or just BSing, but. Uh, you are our big free agent signing, so to speak. I'm the big guy. I'm the big name. You're, you're the big boy. one. And uh, if you are if you are out there, and we also help out people who uh, want to start their own podcast, whether you're a celebrity or not, or an athlete or whatever, if you want help uh, getting your podcast off the ground, we have some inquiries. Uh, go to podavenue.com. If you really, Glenn, you got to follow through on this. Tell them how to do it. Tell them how to reach you. Yeah, podavenue.com. There's a contact button. And... I offer myself put a professional podcast production. I know we get a lot of people, you know, commenting on how the show sounds. It sounds uh, a quality audio. It doesn't sound like we're recording in someone's basement, like people think podcasting usually <laughs> like, goes. Like a lot of podcasts are recorded, <laughs> basically. Uh, 